How to do a diagonal reflect in Adobe Illustrator. Hey guys, Kerry Hawkins here with another VectorMade.com tutorial. And today I'm actually responding to a subscriber's uh, comment the other day on my previous video, which is four ways to reflect an object in Adobe Illustrator. Check that one out if you haven't looked at it already. But the comment reads like this. It says, how do you reflect around an arbitrary line? Like a mirror, but not just a vertical, she means, or a horizontal line. And so anyway, that got me to looking at that. I honestly didn't know how to do that because it really doesn't come up very often. What you could always do is create your shape, um, you know, and then just have everything align this way and reflect it this way and... Um, let's just do a vertical real quick. You could do that, and then you could just move it to what angle, whatever angle you want together, like such. But it did get me thinking, well, what if you wanted to do a reflect across a different plane that wasn't vertical or horizontal, um, but was at a diagonal like such? Well, what you do is you create a line like this just so you have a reference point, and then make sure that you've got smart guides on because that will come into play then select your object that you want to uh, copy. Go ahead and control C, control F to create a copy on the front. As you see, I've got a, two of them there. Um, and then go over to your reflect object tool, click once on the path, and then click a second time anywhere on the other side of the path. And your object will reflect as though this were a horizontal or vertical line like you saw in our the tutorial the other day. So as you can see, it does a perfect job there. But you know, you can make this work with any sort of angle and you really don't need to have the line. If you want, you could just come over here and click, hold shift and click and that will create a copy on the other side or do the same thing and click here and hold shift and click on the other side and it will reflect above. So there's lots of things that you can do with that. But uh, I think the most helpful, useful thing would be to create a specific line at a specific angle um, and use that as your reference point to create the copy. So anyway, that was a nice quick follow-up video to my last video. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think of that extra bit of detail. And like, subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video.